watching City County Sports, The Coach's Corner with Joe Prince. Brought to you by Bobby Wilson Furniture, Penn Station East Coast Subs, Legends, 54 Pizza Express, Trophy House, and Via Media. Hey everybody, this is Barry Williams on Coach's Corner on Hometown TV. And once again, I'm here with head coach Joe Prince, head coach of the Owensboro Red Devils. Well, Joe, that was quite a game you had Friday night. Uh, Hopkins County Central, they were a lot overmatched. Can you talk about that game? Yeah, you know, the things that I like, very explosive that night. We ran like 12 plays and had seven touchdowns. And, you know, that tells me, that tells me some things. And I, I'm really pleased with some of the execution and the blocking. Uh, you know, when you play a team that's outmatched, you worry about some things. But our guys took care of business. And uh, I've been in games like that before that you have to play in the third and the fourth quarter with your starters and you're just frustrated and that kind of stuff. And I wasn't frustrated tonight. We were so explosive. We just took care of the business right off from the get-go after the first play. All right, so other than that, it was a good night. Well, 50 to, 50 to 6 after 8 with 8 minutes left in the second quarter. So that's a – you guys put on quite a performance. Who was your Penn Station Player of the Week? Michael Johnson. Michael hasn't played much this year because he had a surgery like August 28th or something on his ankle. He had a, an injury that he had a little chip or something trash in his ankle and they t took it out and he hadn't played. And he got released to come back the Callaway County game. Mm -hmm. And, uh, you know, it's been nice to get him back and playing. And that night, gosh, he broke a couple of them. He was gone. And uh, uh, he has some real good speed. And he, he came... He came healthy at the right time. We needed uh -huh, him, yep. and so uh, uh, that was a great, great performance by him, and yeah, I think it's going to add to his confidence. Uh, who else stood out? Uh, Jaleel Barrett caught two passes and was gone. Uh, you know, I thought he played very well. Nick Nick made one mistake. Uh, he didn't complete one of his passes, but uh, other than that, he was two for three, and both of them were touchdowns. Uh, <laughs> You know, I thought that uh, Zach uh, Gross came in and played very well. Mm -hmm. I, I thought uh, he came in sophomore quarterback for us and did a really good job for us. Uh, you know, I thought we – T.J. James played well defensively. Mm -hmm. uh, had a pick six, and that was nice. And we're, we haven't been running him as much, let him be a little fresh. And so we've been running Ramin Lindsey, who ran the ball very well the other night, and he scored. And – you know, pretty much everybody played pretty good. Mm -hmm. Well, folks, we'll be back in just one moment. Stay tuned. They're hauling Bobby Wilson in for questioning. The law wants to talk to Bobby about offering gorgeous new furniture to the public at criminally low prices. While Bobby's at the local precinct, no one's there to stop the staff at Bobby Wilson's Home Furnishings from offering huge discounts. If offering low prices on new furniture and accessories wrong, then I don't want to be right, I tell you. Dying to get your furniture fast? It's free express delivery from our store to your door. Bobby Wilson's on 9th Street between J.R. Miller and Triplett at Owensboro. Year after year, our Philadelphia cheesesteak is voted best tasting sub all around America. Join us in celebrating this founding father of flavor, this titan of taste, the often imitated but never duplicated Penn Station Philadelphia cheesesteak. Visit Penn Station today. For over 50 years, the Trophy House has been helping celebrate the times of your life with our unique selection of trophies, awards, and plaques. No matter what the occasion, the Trophy House has an award or trophy to remember that special event in your life. The Trophy House will personalize your gift with our state-of-the-art engraving process that allows us to make each award unique. And when you want that specialized giveaway product, all American advertising specialties can personalize everything from shirts to pins to calendars. The Trophy House, 511 Frederica. At 54 Pizza Express, our pizzas and sandwiches and pastas are all made fresh daily just for you. Fresh vegetables, delectable meats, rich tangy tomato sauce, and tons of rich mozzarella cheese. Post some ingredients, all carefully selected for their quality and taste. Just think about the delicious flavors bursting in your mouth from a fresh hot pizza made by 54 Pizza Express. Call, come in, or order online. 54 Pizza Express. Hello. 
Welcome to Dash Minute of Legends. My name is Dylan Hammonds and we're here to introduce you to our trigger point therapy. We deal in a lot of rehab and prehab and our, one of our favorite uh, products is the trigger point roller. Um, any kind of IT band issues, hamstring, quad, calf issues, um, we're able to roll that out pre-workout and post-workout. We also have our, uh, our kit that really uh, we've seen a lot of uh, great uh, success with um, uh, plantar fasciitis and uh, tight soleus, tight calves, tight hamstrings, able to work that out. And basically that's our lifeline is our feet. So the more we take care of that uh, from the feet up um, uh, to our, up our legs, uh, the better we'll have a chance to be on the field or on the roads or on our bicycles and doing uh, activity. Thanks for watching our Dash Minute brought to you by Legends. Hey folks, we're back on Coach's Corner on Hometown TV. I'm Barry Williams, and I'm here with head coach Joe Prince of the Owensboro Red Devil. Well, Joe, you've got an interesting game coming up Friday night against Henderson County. They seem to be an up-and-down team. What do you expect out of them? Well, I expect their best. You know, they beat us last year on the last play of the game. Anytime we line up with Henderson, it's always it's, it's a physical game, and I expect a physical game this week. And I expect their best, and I, I, I'm pretty sure our kids will be ready to play this game, too. Uh, it's one of the oldest rivalries in the state, and, uh, you know, you can throw the record books out, and I hope everybody comes to the game because we're going to need all the fan support we can get on Halloween night. There's another little oddity of the game. and uh, But I expect them to be healthy. They, they were struggling for a while because their quarterback running, slash running back is uh, back now. Their their little sophomore running back that ran so hard against us last year is finally back. So they're probably going to be a lot better than they have been in the last two or three weeks because they're healthy. Well, now, Joe, this is the final game of the regular season. You know, you guys have been at it a long time this year. How do you got? How do you think your team is shaping up for the run to the state? Well, I like it. Uh, I keep telling our kids, don't worry about who we're playing. Worry about us. We know we have a little talent, so if we worry about ourselves and get better, then we can handle anything that comes along our way. Even if we get beat, we can handle it if we know we're getting better every week. You know, last week, I, I tried to sell our kids that. I was worried. I was waiting to see what happened after the playoff game. I mean, not playoff, the uh, bye week, getting ready for the playoffs, playing Henderson. You know, that was a, what I call a trap, mind trap game. And if our kids or looking at who we're playing, last week they would have been unprepared. They they wouldn't have come out ready to play. If they worry about us getting better, and we had a great week of practice last week, we came out and was so explosive and hit things and did exactly what we wanted to do offensively and defensively. That told me that our kids were still anxious to play. They're still having fun. The little break helped us, and we were ready to roll. And so I felt good off coming out from last week's game that we still have that energy and we want to be here. Uh, you know, a grind, can, it, it can get a grind after mm -hmm. a while. I don't feel like our kids felt like it was a grind. By giving them that little time off, I think it rejuvenized them a little bit. So I'm excited about going into the playoffs. Plus, in two weeks, we should get back two or three of our starters back. And so that's going to help us. And uh, I, the guys have stepped in, have done a great job. So it may be, you know, we play it, the guys that were having to play a lot before it got injured may not have to play as much now. Mm -hmm. So uh, the depth and, and that kind of stuff is really good right now, and our spirits are good. Well, there you have it, folks. Friday night at Henderson County, come out and support your Red Devils. This has been Barry Williams on Coach's Corner on Hometown TV. Thanks for watching. You've been watching City County Sports, The Coach's Corner with Joe Prince, brought to you by Bobby Wilson Furniture, Penn Station East Coast Subs, Legends, 54 Pizza Express, Trophy House, and Via Media. If you would like to be a sponsor of The Coach's Corner and show your school colors, call Rod at 270-683-1094. 
Hello, welcome to Dash Minute of Legends. My name is Dylan Hammonds and we're here to introduce you to our trigger point therapy. We deal in a lot of rehab and prehab and our, one of our favorite uh, products is the trigger point roller. Um, any kind of IT band issues, hamstring, quad, calf issues, um, we're able to roll that out pre-workout and post-workout. We also have our, uh, our kit that really uh, we've seen a lot of uh, great uh, success with um, uh, plantar fasciitis and uh, tight soleus, tight calves, tight hamstrings, able to work that out. And basically that's our lifeline is our feet. So the more we take care of that uh, from the feet up, um, up to our, up our legs, uh, the better we'll have a chance to be on the field or on the roads or on our bicycles and doing uh, activity. Thanks for watching our Dash Minute brought to you by Legends. For over 50 years, the Trophy House has been helping celebrate the times of your life with our unique selection of trophies, awards, and plaques. No matter what the occasion, the Trophy House has an award or trophy to remember that special event in your life. The Trophy House will personalize your gift with our state-of-the-art engraving process that allows us to make each award unique. And when you want that specialized giveaway product, all American advertising specialties can personalize everything from shirts to pins to calendars. The Trophy House, 511 Frederica. At 54 Pizza Express, our pizzas and sandwiches and pastas are all made fresh daily just for you. Fresh vegetables, delectable meats, rich tangy tomato sauce, and tons of rich mozzarella cheese. Wholesome ingredients, all carefully selected for their quality and taste. Just think about the delicious flavors bursting in your mouth from a fresh hot pizza made by 54 Pizza Express. Call, come in, or order online. 54 Pizza Express. They're hauling Bobby Wilson in for questioning. The law wants to talk to Bobby about offering gorgeous new furniture to the public at criminally low prices. While Bobby's at the local precinct, no one's there to stop the staff at Bobby Wilson's Home Furnishings from offering huge discounts. If offering low prices on new furniture and accessories is wrong, then I don't want to be right, I tell you. Dying to get your furniture fast? It's free express delivery from our store to your door. Bobby Wilson's on 9th Street between J.R. Miller and Triplett at Owensboro. City County Sports is proud to present this week's Penn Station East Coast Subs Players of the Week. Congratulations to these Week 10 players from Apollo High School number 32, running back Brent Willis. From Owensboro High School number 28, running back cornerback Michael Johnson. From Owensboro Catholic High School number 7, running back linebacker Devereaux Reed. From Davis County High School number 16, offensive lineman Dylan Reinerson. This week's Penn Station East Coast Sub Players of the Week are brought to you by Trophy House and Via Media.